Okay, now let's talk about white space on your resume. After you have painstakingly thought about word choice and, and getting all of your most desirable attributes and experience on the page and really just worked over the commas, the grammar, the punctuation, does it make sense? Does it give the information you want? Does it create the right impression? Do I need to add other things or not? So after you've really thought about the content, you need to stop looking at the content and look at it almost like a piece of art. We're gonna talk about white space now and the use of white space. So when your future employer gets a stack of resumes, I have had a stack of resumes literally this thick to go through for one position before. And oh, it's a little overwhelming as the hiring person. So um, first of all, let me just throw this in here. If there's a mistake, there's this many resumes to look at. So that resume, if it has a grammatical mistake on it, usually just goes in the trash because this is also a sample of your work. So if this is your best version, your best sample, and it has a mistake on it, it's probably going in the trash. So you want to proofread it 10 times, and then you want to have 10 people proofread it. You want to have it to where it literally has to be grammatically perfect to be a really useful tool. Okay, so no mistakes on it. Past that, I'm just looking at resumes, this many, looking at resumes, looking at resumes. If it is totally dense and so much information that it's going to take me 30 minutes to really read through it and understand it Oof, I'm just going to skim over it I'm just going to gloss over it so what we really want is the resume to have a nice flow to it we want to draw the eye around to the pertinent pieces of information so that your employer doesn't have to spend a year trying to understand what you mean they can just look at it and know what you're talking about. All right, so let's look at just this. Imagine this is our page, this whiteboard here, okay? So, like I said, if you just chock-a-block it, chock-a-block it, chock-a-block it, chock-a-block it, it's so full, where do I even start? I've seen resumes like this. Big, this is one of the reasons why you don't want paragraphs on your resume. That's why... When we're talking about our job history, maybe we have where we worked and when we worked there, and then we have these bullets, right? Where we worked, when we worked there, bullets, where we worked, when we worked there, bullets. Hope you can see that. Okay, maybe. Okay, so this is where your action verbs go that we just talked about, right? Action verbs. So, communicated, organized, um, led. There's so many action verbs on that page. Have a different one for every bullet. So, these just show all of the amazing, action-y kind of things that you'll get done when you have this job. Um, these action verbs really help you move through the page. Also, if you have something here and here, it draws your eye all the way down the page. It's more likely that your resume will get read all the way through. Okay. If we have a resume and we just put everything lined up over here, and I've seen this, here's my name and all the stuff. Where's all the white space, right? all over here it's not balanced in fact it's completely out of balance we're totally we're totally lopsided like this ah! right we don't want to do that either so see, let's look at some good ways we talked about some stuff in a column here and some stuff in a column here and that's good or you can center headings and then bullets here and then center headings and bullets here right the thing is, is after you write it, that's just two ways. You can look at resume examples, look at them for how they structure the content, what content is on there, 
And then also look at them for white space. So I'm gonna put a link in here that's about art and the use of white space because it's the same concept and artists describe it better. So this white space concept, it's really important for getting your resume read all the way through and having someone not want to just stop and flip on to the next resume.